looks good, tastes good, tastes, tastes, tastes good. Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing fish stew. Some of you might choose to call it a fish curry, anyone you like. Mm. All I know is that this fish stew is delicious and it's really different from anything you know. So you want to keep watching to see what I'm going to do differently. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Ifi and welcome to my kitchen. If you're an old subscriber, hey, thank you for always watching my videos. And I'm going to be giving a shout out to one of you at the end of this video. So keep watching, it just might be you. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. Today I'm wearing my lovely apron that YouTube gave me. I don't want to say my outfit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm all ready. The first thing we're going to do is to cut our fish. So I've got this lovely fish here, which I have cleaned, I've gutted, it's nice and ready to be used. Any type of fish you use is perfect, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead to cut this into um, some slices, okay? I'm going to season the fish with some paprika powder, okay, salt, and some fish masala. Please feel free to use any kind of seasonings you prefer, okay? I'm going to massage the seasonings to the fish to make sure everywhere is well coated. Okay, so this is perfect. We're going to go on to fry the fish lightly. So first thing you want to do is to add some cooking oil to your pot. Once your oil gets hot, go ahead and fry your fish. I'm gonna put it in. So we'll let this fry and when it's done, I'll show you the next step. But in the meantime, we're going to blend our peppers. So for my pepper mix, I'm going to be blending some tomatoes. I have some crushed tomatoes here. I also have some onions, oops, this fell. Some scotch bonnet peppers and some garlic. So that's all that I'll be blending, okay? So don't forget to check on your fish guys, so you don't burn it. You just want to fry it lightly, okay? So once it's done, I'm going to take it off the kids, okay? Now that my fish is ready, I'm going to reduce the oil from this pan and then keep cooking with the oil in the same pan, okay? Once your oil is hot, go ahead and add in your onions and cook these onions for about 60 seconds to 90 seconds. Now you're going to add in your blended tomatoes and pepper mix. Make sure everything goes in. We're not wasting anything here. Give everything a good mix. Make sure the onions, the oil, the pepper mix, everything is well mixed. And then you're going to leave this to cook. After a few minutes of cooking, go ahead and add in your tomato paste. You're also going to add your seasonings. I have some coriander powder here, some fish seasoning, and um, what else I have? Some chili. So add whatever you like, okay? I'm going to give this a good mix and then once you're done combining it well, you're going to leave this to keep cooking, okay? 
after a few minutes make sure you taste it to know that your pepper mix is done it doesn't taste sour anymore okay now we're going to add the star of the dish the thing that makes it different from your regular fish stew some coconut milk so mix this This looks good, this smells amazing, trust me. So I'm going to add a little more coconut milk, okay? Look at how it has changed the color to this lovely, creamy goodness. So at this point, I'm going to add in the fish. So I'm adding in some water. Let me add some water to thin the sauce a little. It's too thick. So there it goes. Going to give it a quick stir. You can see the consistency here. Yeah? Looks good. Tastes good. Tastes taste, taste good. So I'm going to go ahead to add in my fish and allow the fish soak up this goodness. Yummy. I'm just going to cover it and allow everything simmer. This has been cooking for about seven minutes now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot to mention, you should do this on low heat, okay? When the fish, everything is simmering together. Look at how good this looks. Wow. Look at how good. Make sure the fish is well coated with this sauce. And that's it, guys. We are all done. part of the show for me when I get to taste this amazing dish but you are more important so I want to give a shout out to you Alexander the Great all the way in Greece thank you so much for always commenting on my videos and of course I know you always like it don't you <laughs> thank you so if you want a shout out guys make sure you let me know in the comment section let me know where you're watching my videos from and who knows it just might be you so enough talking I can't wait to eat this Woo, it has been calling my name all day, every day. Cheers. This is so delicious. The coconut flavor shines through. The properly seasoned fish everything is perfect guys please ditch your regular fish stew or curry and make this it is fantastic it is so easy and so delicious and it takes no time at all if you're yet to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that like and of course subscribe remember to turn on notification as well and join my channel membership that is so important to me guys support my channel i'd really really appreciate it okay if you have any questions regarding the membership let me know in the comment section and i'll be very happy to respond okay till i see you in another recipe video take care and keep eating good food bye Ending now when I call, I'll come back. 
And that's it, guys. We are all done. <coughs> Oops. Let me send you. Huh? Until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. So, guys, I want. <coughs> Gosh. <laughs>